Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Kodash, that honors the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who we will. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, to sincere servants doing this work, pushing us a word throughout the four, four corners, doing this thing in truth and sincerity. We say Shalom, salutations. The Lord will is edifying. Uh, coming to do a lesson. And, um, it's going to be uh, 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 basic, basically uh, conquering. Um, had to go ahead and upgrade my uh, phone storage uh, to so I could uh, 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 record um, videos and, and camp videos. You know, because that's what this is all about is feeding the sheep, uh, feeding the flock. And hopefully, since uh, sealing the hopeful elect, that's the main, uh, our main uh, pri uh, prerogative right now. So I'm going to get into the lesson and I'm going to start with uh, the book of Hebrews. Or I'm going to start it with Hebrews 10. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10. It says, by which and by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of a Yahweh Mashiach once for all. Verse 11, and every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. And so there was priests um, ministering, uh, preaching. Uh, daily okay back then and offering up sacrifices now when we go to preach the word that's one of our sacrifices we're offering up um, spiritual sacrifices with our bodies all right and having ourselves in subjection to Yahweh Shai, which he uh, he finds pleasure in um and you know you're conquering through the spirit verse 12 but this man after he had offered one sacrifice for his for sins forever sat down on the right hand of, of the most high so yeah um so yeah we're, this thing you know i often try to do this thing daily whatever i can you know, for the most part, I uh, I try to, but um, if I don't get to it, it's because I was tied up in the flesh, you know, and that's the only excuse you can really make, you know, even though that's not the actual order that you should strive to want to do that, just the way the spirit be rolling. So this is the book of Baruch 4 and 28. For as, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High. So being returned, seek him ten times more. All right. So that that's the type of time you have to seek him ten times more. And that happens a lot when you uh, are first woken up to this truth. You're asking a bunch of questions and things of that nature. Um, acquiring on a bunch of things all right reading the scriptures doing doing what you can to be built up pretty much as fast as you can not to say that you're just trying to gain all the knowledge and all you can to uh, uh, mm, you know to have this thing down packed but you know I was listening to Pastor Har he said you know pretty much after six months you you should be able to go out there and preach by yourself or you should i mean you should be able to uh be a, uh be preaching preach teach the word after six months you know because you're studying you may take notes things of that nature watch videos and really it's a be it'll be, it'll be muscle memory you know where the scriptures at you know where all the way from genesis to revelation you know pretty much know where the books are at 
in in the in the uh, scriptures and in the apocrypha. You know. So that's what we're obligated to do is to um you know gain as much as we can in this small uh time period. And that's conquering, conquering through the spirit. You're conquering your own self, your uh, own walk in this thing. And that's pretty much what we are called to do. And that's all we can do. You know? This is the book of uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 13. And I had a, a phrase in... And one of my college uh, colleges I went to was a uh, uh, what is it? Um, I think it was conquer the day, or uh, dominate the day. Yeah, that's what it was. Because everybody has 24 hours in a day, and when you're dominating from from the time you wake up to you go to sleep, it's pretty much it's, it's, it's a, like a lot of things you can get done. A lot of things spiritually you can get done. Not only like, not only that, you can handle a lot of things. Your your uh your your worldly businesses. Because once that, once things start to su uh uh, things start to uh, I wouldn't say slow down, but it's it starts to not be tended to. And it's just all hell from there. You know. It's just all downhill, so it's good to just be on point with that. This is Luke 19. This is uh, Luke 19 and 13. And he called and started at 12. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Right, so occupy um, till... I come occupied in what? Occupied in the spirit he held by Shimei Al Shai. All right, I I, I I watch a lot of videos. Um, <laughs> as you know, I always upload. Uh, due to that, I'm not in uh, G uh, GMS anymore. I still watch certain GMS videos. You can see my channel. I, I uh, repost certain videos from different camps and um i put them on my channel because i found it very edifying you know i, I just can't help it you know as <laughs> i must still watch uh, uh great millstone dallas why because those brothers in the spirit it's very it, it helpful building you up watch the apostles certain elders you know Yeah, you can occupy. I was, um, you know, you can occupy uh, uh, in worldly things as well, as long as it's not going off. Like I was this weekend, occupying myself. <clears throat> you know, and as long as it's not fully taking you away from doing this work. All right. And giving Yahweh Shai, they're just due. And now you're con conquering everything. Your own world. Now, if you're not doing that, then you're going to have a problem with the Lord. He's going to have a problem with you, Salakia. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and 23. His Lord said unto him, well done. Yep, I'm going to get to the point. It says, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee, thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord, thy Lord. All right, so if we continue in this thing, and also if we're teaching correctly, well, he's going to call us a good and faithful servant. You are faithful to the end. 
your let's see here. So I wanted to get faithful. Let's see what that says. Faithful. The outline of biblical usage. Trusty, faithful. Of persons who show themselves faithful in the transaction of business. Right. The execution of commands or the discharge of official duties. God, so we want to find to be a faithful servant trusty the lord can trust us he gives us things he, he gives us our daily benefits so to prove to him that we're trusted with dealing with them now it's not going to be easy all the time you know but for the most part he's going to give you things that you can handle um see um the first scripture here so the Lord's not going to tempt us uh yep first Corinthians 10 and 13 there has no temptation taken you but as but such as and it is common to man but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Con exactly. So the Lord ex knows exactly what we need and what we don't need to suffice us for this time. So, you know, so He may give you extra shekels or things of that nature to see if you can make right on that or a woman that's just how the lord works you know he's gonna do a, a, a lot of things um in our favor and and also they may be also stumbling stumbling blocks to prove that we can um mortify our members in that tempting situation because, hey, even it's tempting to just chill. To even to just like, okay, I'm going to just chill out and just watch some funny videos. Or I'm going to chill out and watch Netflix. And, um, damn, eat some desserts. I'll eat some ice cream all day. Things of that nature. Now, that's cool sometimes, but, you no. Know, a lot of times we're really on that hard body work type timing. You know, that's just what the spirit has called us to do, because not only is the Lord, how how shy turning up, we're supposed to uh, turn up a lot right along with. Them. Through the spirit, you know. I'm not supposed to be in some uh, lackadaisical um, home uh, humgrum type spirit. This is the book of John, chapter 21 and 15, and it reads. Fifteen, uh, twenty-one, and fifteen. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, "Lovest thou me more than just than these?" He said unto him, "Yea, Lord, thou, thou knowest that I love thee." He said unto him, "Feed my lambs." Verse sixteen. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, "Lovest thou me?" He said unto him, "Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee." He said saith unto him feed my sheep yeah so he's saying if you if you do love me feed my sheep okay you know it's, but if you if you don't love him or if you're not feeding the sheep or feeding the flock that means you don't love him and that's pretty much straight to the point that's 
basic and it's not hard to understand that you know, it's either you do it or you don't. It's just, it's just how, how this world is. You either get the results or you don't. No one actually cares wh- why you didn't do something or, you know, or, you know, why you did it. Did it get done or not? That's just how this world works. And that's how the Lord's playing it as well. You know, up until the kingdom of heaven, where we'll just be simply existing. We won't have to just prepare lessons and get food to, to sustain us and get the proper rest. You know, we'll just be existing. We'll be, we'll be being, we'll be human beings. Right now, we're, you know, human doings. Well, I take that back. We're human doings now. We won't be human beings in the kingdom of heaven. We'll be literal gods. Under Yahweh Bashi Me'al Shai. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachakwadash. The bondage of the apostles and the elders, that great millstone, Ruel. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.